Do you want to be able to make this happen? Well, watch this tutorial to get started. I'm going to show you how this works. First, we're going to need something to start with. Same with this button. Then, we can get some stuff like this. But in this case, actually, I'll just do that. Then, I want to make these invisible, which is that you don't see them. In this case, I want to make it load. But this isn't about that. This is more importantly about how to make a button click on something. How you make it, or you can make like an on click so that like if you click a button, it'll do something. So first, I need to be inserting a local script into this button over here in the explorer. In the explorer. Yeah. There's two ways. First, I'll just I'll write it the normal way. What this does is it tells us what our action does. In this case, this is what this is how we look for the mouse click. Now we can write our code. In this case, we're gonna want to grab these. So in this case, you should name them. I'm gonna name them so that we can. Oh, no, sticks. So I'm just gonna name them random stuff. In this case, I'll just do letters. And we gotta detect it. As you see. And use visible in this case to make it. If you don't know what visible does, I'll teach you how to do visible as well. So, what visible does is it makes it visible. You remember how we make these invisible, like this right here? Well, now we can use commit code to make it visible again. So, I can make it. We can use a wait script. Wait for a second. You can wait for how long you want, but put it as, as long as you want, but. And then we gotta write the other stuff. You can also make this false. You can do this for any property over here. Now, let's test. As you can see, it works. Now I'm going to show you the other way. This is the other way. You can write whatever you want here, but this function, you can name it whatever you want. I'll show you why you can name it whatever you want, because you also have to put it down here. Again. It's just a normal old function, which is used in tools and stuff. We gotta find the text button, obviously. Because if we don't write a parent, then it won't find the parent. And, um, it'll just look in this inside the script, like, say, uh, this isn't it. It'll, it'll look inside of it. It won't look outside of it. It gotta say outside so it knows this thing. Instead of putting a function there, some people put a function there instead, we're going to put whatever we put here, which is in this case is on clicked. And we can just write the same code over here. And if we delete this, take it out in this case, 
you see that it does the exact same thing. Just a different way of writing. You're probably wondering, well, what if I want to connect it to a part? So in this case, we're, we're going to try to connect it to a part. You know what I'm doing now. In this case, we're going to I'm going to do the basic way, which is this. You don't have to copy me if you don't want to. This is a little more advanced. We're going to have to grab the workspace. In this case, which is a pretty good way to do it. Let's put A just to so break it. Let's see, grab the workspace, and then oh, forget the park. Put, put it in, in this part. We're gonna make it change colors. I should know. Um, we're gonna make it change materials. That's, that's a good one. I should know. We'll make it invisible, invisible over and over. Okay, so now it should find a part. See, as you can see, it should find the part. See, there it is. Now we can wait a second and then turn back over. And I I'll show you, I I'll show you guys in another video how well how making doing over and over. But in this case, I'm not gonna do that. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you that it actually works. Yes, it should, but. You know, we all make sticks. Let's look. Oh, I forgot. Right, I'm in. As you can see, I said a few seconds it should appear again. I guess technically it's still there. Uh, um. Oh, I probably wrote something wrong. Oh, yeah, we just made it do that. Okay, there. That should work. As you can see, when you press it, it does link to the part. You, congratulations, you've learned how you can make a button do something. Well, that's all for today's lesson. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if this helped you a lot. Bye.